Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com, and today I'm going to make a video clarifying something that I keep seeing in forums and message boards. People are getting confused between a gonial angle and a mandibular plane angle. Um, totally different. And the question was, will a gonial angle change with palatal expansion? And the gonial angle is the angle of the ramus right here, this theta, okay? So obviously this is a very obtuse and this is a very steep mandibular plane angle, but it has, that's not gonna change. That's just the way you were born, right? That's just the way your piece of bone formed. So that's a, more of a genetic thing. I mean, maybe as you're growing, there are things that, are, that could change it, you know? Um, and there's a lot of things that could change it. But what they were talking about, gonial angle is this. Mandibular plane angle is normally defined in a, this is the, measurement I use, G-O-G-N-S-N. This isn't exactly mandibular plane angle, but it's close enough. Mandibular plane angle is defined as cella nasion, which are points that are on the cranial base, okay? Those are points in your skull, okay? Um, those are not gonna be affected by orthodontics unless, yeah. And then this is theta, okay? And then this is the gonial, that's this point right here, okay? And it's going to be menton, which is the very tip. That is your mandibular plane angle. The G-O-G-N-S-N is just, it's just a little bit different. It's going to go to gnathon, nathon, which is right here. But it's pretty much the same thing. So the Steiner analysis that I use does G-O-G-N-S-N. Anyways, so you're looking, obviously, a more acute angle is going to be a more forward growing, whereas a more obtuse angle is going to be a more down and backwards growing, indicating some type of problem, maybe with airway or something like that. So yes, this angle can change with expansion because your mandible is on a hinge axis. So if you do some type of expansion, the palate denture base is going to change. It might change position or inclination, which would then change this theta back here. I kind of cut it off, but you get the idea. So this is what you need to measure and keep your eye on is with expansion is your GOGN SN or your mandibular plane angle, which is your SN GOME. Okay. Hopefully that was helpful. Thank you. And by the way, I am like not at all a big fan of teaching stuff. So I mean, I make what I, that it's a necessary evil to understand growth and stuff like that, but I don't enjoy it. So no, I do not teach this um, directly. I recommend getting a great orthodontic textbook or I have a couple consultants who do like love the academic part of ortho education. That's on them. It is not included with our memberships, but I'll be glad to send you to some of these docs that I know do a great job. All right, thank you.